find all the solutions of tan theta minus 3 cot theta equal to 2 tan 3 theta that lie between 0 and 360 degree when I go you become angle or so all solutions I am like our surma make same same to universal name make same same उस्ते उस्ते बनाउनु पर्यो कि त सबै कट हुनु पर्यो कि त सबै tan हुनु पर्यो दुईटा tan छ यसलाई पनि tan नै बनाइदिम tan θ cot θ भनेको 1 by tan 3 by tan θ 2 tan 3 θ को एउटा खतरा फर्मुला छ tan 3a 3 tan a minus tan cube a 1 minus 2 2 यहाँ नेर चाहिँ 2 अनि यहाँ नेर अरु जस्तै 3 यसरी समझिने हो यहाँ 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 3 अनि त्यसरी एउटा 2 यो पॉइंट यो पॉइंट र यो पॉइंट मा 3 यहाँ 3 यहाँ 3 र यहाँ 3 3 3 3 1 minus 3 एउटा ठाउँमा स्क्वायर अब अरु त आफै हाली हालिन्छ यसरी समझिदा पनि हुन्छ यो फर्मुला हामी डाइरेक्ट यहाँ नेर युज गर्छौं 3 tan a 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan square a tan square a हो यहाँ समान भयो त्यसपछिको पालो यहाँ आउँछ यहाँ 1 छँदै छ tan θ बड tan स्क्वायर θ बनाउन मिल्छ यहाँ minus 3 equals to 3 to the 6 tan θ minus 2 tan cube θ divided by 1 minus 3 tan square θ त्यसपछि cross multiply let's do cross multiply it will be tan square θ minus 3 multiply with 1 minus 3 tan square theta and again tan theta will multiply with 6 tan theta minus 2 tan cube theta now let's make it let's multiply tan square theta minus 3 1 3 tan square it will be 10 power 4 theta minus 3 1 3 minus minus plus 3 3 9 tan square theta equals to 6 1 6 10 square theta minus 2 1 plus 3 power 4 theta now I just multiplied here now look here these two are 10 power 4 and remaining these 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 are all 10 square now let's do one thing if we bring this to this side it will be positive if we bring this to this side it will be negative we can bring to any any one side let's bring everything here 10 square theta and this plus 9 10 square theta now this also 6 this is behind this equal to then it will be negative minus 6 10 square theta now 10 square theta all finish now remaining is 10 power 4 theta power 4 theta it will be plus 2 10 power 4 theta now minus 3 is remaining ok minus 3 and that's it after this we will calculate all these 3 9 minus 6 3 3 plus 1 4 4 10 square theta let's check and it will be minus 10 power 4 theta minus 3 equal to 0 now remove all negative sign it will be 10 power 4 theta minus 4 10 square theta plus 3 equal to 0 now can we do anything yes we can do one thing one thing we can do that is middle term splitting method 3 10 square theta minus 10 square theta this means minus 3 minus 1 it is minus 4 it is very easy concept then after let's take common from here 10 square theta common remaining terms 10 square theta minus 3 from here also let's take minus 1 common remaining terms are 10 square theta minus minus plus so minus 3 will be now these two take common 10 square theta minus 3 this is our absolute common remaining terms right here 10 square theta minus 1 equal to 0 no problem then we can do anything no we cannot do anything if we multiply this now again our question will be very long it will go above 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 like this so let's break here and do either or either or either 10 square theta minus 3 equal to 0 or 10 square theta minus 1 equal to 0 then solve both sides 10 square theta equals to 3 or what to do here is also square if it is possible to make square let's make it square 3 is the square of root 3 root 3 square will be 3 but positive negative both can satisfy so let's write both plus minus here also same concept 10 square theta equals to 1 and look here 10 square theta equals to 
plus minus under root 1 under root 1 square we can write this also and this means directly this 10 square theta equals to plus minus 1 square so 10 theta equals to either plus 1 or minus 1 here also 10 theta equals to either plus root 3 or minus root 3 now look here root 3 means 1060 so basically let's write here 1060 for instance only equals to plus minus 1060 degree just write here only now 10 theta equals to 10 1 means 1045 look 1045 is 1 so plus minus 1045 degree now after this we have to know this cast rule here will be cos here all here sign here 10 now look 10 will be positive here and here in this two quadrant 10 will be positive in others 10 will be negative this is 0 degree or 360 degree this is 90 degree this is 180 degree this is 270 degree this quadrant is either 90 plus theta or 180 minus theta this is 180 plus theta 180 minus 90 plus theta this is 270 minus theta this is 270 plus theta 270 plus something will be in this quadrant 0 minus something or 360 minus something this is 0 plus theta or 360 plus theta or this is 90 minus theta I think you know this now from here we have to solve with with two respect taking positive taking negative here also taking positive value taking negative value see here positive value are one is 1060 degree positive another is where is 1060 degree positive 10 is positive in this quadrant in this quadrant in this quadrant 180 plus theta so right here 10 180 plus 60 so this means 180 plus 60 10 to 40 10 to 40 is also positive and check whether others are left or not look 1060 degree 1060 degree is positive in first quadrant also 1060 we have already got here is 10 positive and 10 to 40 10 to 40 also lies in this quadrant and we have already got this also so positive part finished now let's try for negative part negative part it will be minus 10 60 degree now where is 10 minus 60 degree minus 60 means 10 will be negative in this quadrant and in this quadrant so value for this quadrant is 180 minus theta right here 10 180 minus theta theta means 60 degree so let's write 10 120 degree 10 120 degree Okay, one value we found. Another is in this quadrant. Here, how many percent are there? value. Here, how many percent are there? 360 minus theta. So, right here, another is 10, 360 minus theta means this initial angle, first angle, 60. This means 10, 300 degree. Look here, for negative 10, 120 we have already found in this quadrant. Okay, and 10, 300 degree also we have already found in this quadrant. Now, negative part also finished. Now let's try for this part. Look, taking positive, 10 theta equals to 1045 degree. Because we are taking only positive, not negative. Now, another positive will be in this quadrant. In this, 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta, 10 will be positive in this quadrant also. So, let's write 10, 180 plus theta. Theta means initial angle, 45 degree. This will be 180 plus 45. 10 to 125, okay. 10 to 125. This also lies in this quadrant. So now let's look again. 1045 degree we have found in first quadrant. Okay. 10225 we have found in third quadrant. Okay. Now for positive part finished. Now let's try for negative part. Now look for negative take minus 1045 degree. And minus 10 kata kata minus. So where will be 10 negative? 10 will be negative in this quadrant and this quadrant. This quadrant value is 180 minus theta. So directly write 10 180 minus theta. Theta means 45 because 45 is our initial angle. So 180 minus 45. 35? Yes, 135. So it is 10, 135 degree. Now, one angle we got. Another angle will be here in this fourth quadrant. Here. 10 will be negative in this quadrant also. And value for this quadrant is 360 minus theta. It is 10, 360 minus theta. Theta means 45, initial angle. How much is this? 360 minus 45. 315. 10, 
315 degree. Now let's check for negative also. One negative angle, 135. We are found in this quadrant. Okay. And another is 315. We are found in this quadrant. Okay. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All 8 angles we are found. All 8 angles we are found. Each 4. For each 4, four quadrants we are found 2, 2 angles. Means, this is our total answers. Therefore, theta equals to, let's start to write, 60 degree, 240 degree, 120 degree, 300 degree, 45 degree, 225 degree, 135 degree, and 315 degree. Now, let's write this in standard form. 60 means how much? 180 by 3. Look, 180 by 3 is 60. So, we will write here, 180 by 3. 240 means how much? 180 divided by 240 means 3 by 4. Let's check 3 into 180 by 4. Check 480 by 3. 240, yes. 4 pi by 3. Write here, 4 pi by 3. Now, let's check here, 3 pi by 2, let's check. 3 into 180 divided by 2. Okay, 2 into 180 divided by 3. Okay, 120 means 2 pi by 3. 2 pi by 3. Now, 300 divided by, sorry, 180 divided by 300. 3 by 5. 3 pi by 5. Divide this 300 by 180. 300 divided by 180. This is 5 by 3. So, directly write 5 pi by 3. 5 into 180 divided by 3. Yes, 5 pi by 3. Now again, divide 45 by 180. How much we will get? 1 by 4. Directly write pi by 4. Again, divide this 225 divided by 180. 5 by 4. Directly write 5 pi by 4. If you don't believe, then we can check also. 5 into 180 divided by 4. 225. Now check for this. 135 divided by 180. 3 by 4. 3 pi by 4. Then simultaneously check also. 3 into 180 divided by 4. Yes, 135. Now for 315 also. 7 pi by 4. 7 pi by 4. This is how much? 7 into 180 divided by 4. 315. So these are our answers. Thus we have to know that taking positive and taking negative. We have to know these four values. How to check by this cast rule. This is called cast rule C A S T and we have to check which we need we need only 10 ratio only 10 ratio so 10 which is negative which is positive in which is quadrant backward and voila buji alonso it is very 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 easy time to say bye bye